This video is sponsored by Antkeeping Depot. To see their Antkeeping related products, check the link above or in the description. Well, let's begin this update with love, because love is necessary in this vivarium because of the reproductive necessity between organisms in order for them to evolve and survive as a species in an ecosystem. And since we now have a beautiful couple of salamanders occupying the wet part of the tank, I thought that it was time for another pair or love couple to move in to the drier part of the vivarium. Meet my scorpions. One of them refused all my mealworms, as you can see, and the other one just gave it all to take them down. Have a look at how this girl is trying to poison the worm with her tail, and she actually manages to. What a beast. And here are some facts too. But the scorpion keeper noob that I was, I realized that these prey were not only too big, but almost dangerous for my little scorpions. They were never going to hunt this big in my vivarium, so I decided to make the prey more realistic, which to my delight was just what they were made for. Have a look at that. These guys are for sure going to keep our isopod population in check. And sometimes they were allowed to get some free snacks, but really not often. They will need to be fit for the vivarium in order not to get outcompeted. But how sparsely I even fed them, I felt like they became obese for some reason, so the time had come to step up their game. It is like letting your children move out or something, because, oh boy, this was emotional. No, I'm just kidding. Have a look. I simply put the first contestant and this piece of bark he was hiding in, in the vivarium. But oh boy, he just wouldn't move. But as all caring parents do when their kids refuse to move out, they just give them a little gentle push. Then my dearest son finally made it to his new home. Oh, my sweet boy. Well, that was a bit creepy, but I'm just kidding. So yeah, it's a scorpion. Don't worry, guys. I'm a human. The girl had more balls than my son, or just didn't have the piece of bark to hide in that he had, but nevertheless she rushed into the leaf litter. She was pretty fat too. Please don't tell her I said that though. She's going to sting me when I manage the vivarium later. Oh god, what have I done? Please don't remember this. Shit. Next, there was another ant species that was going to be introduced, Messor wasmani. These guys eat mostly grains, which is great since they are in such a specialized niche for finding food, making it unlikely that they will compete with other ant species in the tank. None of our current ant colonies are at all interested in grains so far. They are also really cool. Check out the so-called ant bread currently devoured by their larvae here. It is the major ants that in the colony have munched the grains they have collected, turning it into a digestible form for the young. The polymorphism is also astounding in this genera of ants. I look forward having them in the vivarium. Before introducing them, I made sure that no predator was camping too close nearby. Cheeky little beep! <laughs> but then the introduction had begun, and it went absolutely perfect. Not at all like my previous introduced ant colonies that just refused 
leaving their test tubes. Have a look here, I will leave you with them with some great music in the background. What more is there to say? They moved in and are now already gathering grains that I have spread out all over the vivarium. I can't wait until they grow in numbers and the majors start popping up. Oh, I'm excited. But introduction made. Could some smart subscriber please tell me who this guy is? He reminds me of the hunchback in the Notre Dame movie. Thank you. Moving forward, again, I had the idea to show you how I put a jar of bugs in my vivarium. Some spiders, worms, pill bugs, etc. Let's see how it goes. Well, most of them immediately get covered, but this huge worm just kept on going. Check it out, nothing is as spectacular as a huge worm. For the person wondering about the last episode, the new Lassius Umbratus colony is doing perfect. Although I can often see the newly enclosed Umbratus workers antagonizing the Flavus workers, the older slaves. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the latest video. But yeah, this is not cool, but I guess it's what they do naturally and uh, nature. This vivarium is replicating it. Well, thank you for this episode, and the vivarium is for sure increasing in biodiversity. Check out the time lapse that we will go through in the next video, right here. Be sure to wait to the end of it, because I am quite certain that you do not want to miss the epic salamander hunt. Have a fantastic day, and see you in the next one.